big share photo business. Mm -hmm. God damn it. Yo, what is good, y'all? You dig what I'm saying? And welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Reviews. You dig what I'm saying? It's your boy, J.I. And as you guys can see behind me, we are here at Tom Peacock Nissan, where I did the ZL1 um, review, 1LE review. If you guys haven't seen that video, I'll go ahead and put a card up. Make sure you guys tap in. Go check it out. So let's go ahead and roll that intro. We'll get straight into this video. Let's get it. What is good y'all you dig? Welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy J.I. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Enjoy the video, you dig? So I'm here with my boy BJ. Y'all already know what it is, man. Yeah. All his information, go ahead and run it down for him, brother. Social media, follow me at bountiful underscore self. Okay. Yes, sir. B-O-U-N-T-I-F-U-L underscore S-E-L-L-Z. Yes, sir. And then what the number is one time so they can call you to reach you here, brother. 404-543-4425. Yes, sir. So you already know, man. Tom Peacock. Tom Peacock Nissan, man. Come, whatever you want, whatever you want, man. So this joint right here, this is my first time ever doing the SRT. Sound good, let me go to the back end. Completely stock, if I'm not mistaken. Hit one more time, bro. Yeah, it's definitely too quiet for me, you know what I mean? Definitely a uh, full custom cat back on the way for sure. For sure. Is this the sticker price? Where we at? Is this the sticker price, bro? No, not on there. Yeah, talk to him, man. Got the carbon fiber on the door. I mean, got the red seat belt. And it's really not even like a, a bright red. It's like a wine red. I like that. I like that. Suede on the um, inserts. The leather on the outside. Panoramic roof, for sure. Definitely need them. Got the Navi, got the carbon on the dash. Sheesh. Definitely, definitely a clean look. Car only has 18,000 miles. Brand new, basically. Red push to start. Big bolstered up steering wheel, big beefy steering wheel. Hell yeah. Sheesh. Big uh, cargo space when they get to it big trunk space so this right here this is the ultimate dad car you feel me you got the big trunk space big you know the most what a button now got the most rear end space you in the back seat you comfortable you know what i mean how tall are you brother let me get behind you i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna jump in behind my guy bj all right bj you comfortable you got the seat bolstered up Way back. I'm back here, man. All I'm closer. Back. I'm calm. Oh, hell no. Let me, uh, can you open up that, uh, sunroof, brother? I'm That's big, right. uh, dark skin. <laughs> Goddamn. We gotta get the light in this joint. That's the trunk button right there. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Trying to get the light in here. You know what I mean? I'm big, dark skin man. All right. Camera's out here tweaking. All right, so yeah, man. So my boy, he's 6'6". Six, six. You guys can see my knees don't even touch the, don't even touch Damn. the seat. I'm 5'9", so I'm not that big, you know what I mean? But like, real talk, I'm cooling. And plus you got like the little rel recline in the back seat as yep, well. Yep. Still got the suede inserts, leather, 
with the wine red seat belt. That's that's my favorite touch right there. I'm gonna be honest. Got the carbon on the door cards. Even got a little bit of suede on the door cards themselves too, with the carbon fiber. Full panoramic. The top, the headliner is kind of type suede too. I'm gonna be honest. They did their thing with this one. Sheesh. Full panoramic mook. Yes, sir. Then you got your climate controls. You got heated seats back here too. You got the standard charger. You know what I mean? The regular plug-in and the two USBs. So you really set, man. Dodge got you good on this. Got a little cubby space on the storage for the back seat, man. I'm liking this. I really like how they did the carbon fiber, man, because you know Dodges come with this usually, and like I don't know, the carbon fiber just looks way better. It's a great touch with the suede inserts on the door. That's amazing. I love that. I love that. They did their thing. Now we gonna pop the hood real quick before we go on this drive. You already know you got the big Brembo brakes. No stock wheels do not look bad at all. They don't. I'm finna go ahead and pop the hood. Thank you, my boy BJ. Got the lever going already. I appreciate you. I'm gonna go ahead and pop that joint. Yes, sir. So they make 475. This joint makes 475 crank. You feel me? And it only weighs, it weighs 5,000 pounds. So, you know what I mean? That's definitely the big hefty motherfucker. You know what I mean? It's a big SUV. Got the fog lights, got everything. Got the camera on the front end too, man. So this joint is pumping out. You got the 6.4 liter Hemi pumping out 475 horsepower to the crank. Definitely, definitely, definitely a clean SUV, man. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I don't know, man. Let's go ahead and hop in here and go on this drive, y'all. Cause, sheesh, so clean, bro. The black on black, just, oh, my goodness. Very clean truck, y'all. Very clean truck. And you got two extra USBs up here. So in total, you got four. And then you got the regular car, 12 volt uh, cigarette lighter move. And the aux cord, just in case you want to be big analog. You know what I mean? It does come with the wheel lock, the wheel key, as you would like. Big screen on there, heated seats. Um, now I know. Uh, a lot of the SRTs got SRT pages. I guess this one doesn't have it, um, which is all good. You know what I mean? It is the truck, though. You feel me? So I think like it's just like the Chargers and Challengers that got them. But you do got heated seats in the front and in the rear. You got the heated steering wheel. You got the backup camera. You know what I mean? You can turn the screen off if you want to or whatever. I'm not, I'm not, I don't need the camera no more, brother. Go back, goddamn. Oh, there go the X, okay, cool. Then you got different drive modes. Okay, so here we go. Yeah, there we go, there we go, there we go. So basically, SRT. Yeah, and then you got the, um, you know what I mean? Big launch. I don't know if we're gonna do a launch today, brother, you know what I mean? Still dealership, still watching, goddamn. <laughs> okay, uh. Yeah, I think we gonna go, we gonna, we gonna go all the way track, full track mode, so let's, okay. I didn't even know that. So when you change it on the knob, right? They got a little illustration on the dashboard. That's so dope. That's dope. Let's get a good rev going in the track. See if it's any different. Okay, that's in track. Then we're gonna go in sport. Okay. We're gonna go auto, that's basic. I'm gonna go snow. And then told, oh, that ain't gonna do nothing with the exhaust. So we're gonna go back to track. We're gonna be in track for this one. You know what I mean? Everything full, the full MOOC. Damn, that's crazy. That's dope. You even got race. I, I need, damn, look at that. It's just, you can literally just sit here and play with the car. You got the shift lights. You got everything. Like, you could do the whole Mizno. That's crazy. Launch control. There you go. Set it up. You know what I mean? I'm not really gonna do it, but I'm, I guess you rev it up when it's in drive and then this reads it like with the RPMs and stuff. That's crazy. That's crazy. We're going to go back. We're not doing no launch control right now type. I mean, but with that being said, man, let's go ahead and get on this drive. Let's get it. All right, y'all. I'm going to roll into it. I'm not going to just step on it. Four thirty-five. Four seventy-five. Four seventy-five. Four seventy-five crank. 
can go on, we can go on manual mode with it too. With a bow. The shifts are so aggressive, like legit though, like woo. Let's dodge for it, bro. Hell yeah, yeah, big uh low-key feels like an Aventador type. Not that I, I've never been in an Aventador, but like that's just something to compare it to because you know on the Aventador the ships are very aggressive. That's why mm -hmm. you know I mean. So don't try to butcher me in the comments, guys. <laughs> Alright, you know what's gonna happen. Damn, this joint nice, man. This joint, I'm telling you, bro. Like this is the ultimate dad mobile. Well, this or you know they coming out with the how they coming out with that SRT Hellcat Prats. Durango. Prats, 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 Prats. That right there. That's you know what I mean.
But yeah, man, we're gonna go ahead and clip off this camera. Look, uh, wrap it up with my boy BJ real quick. Chop it up. Um, get a couple pulls in on the way back, and then we'll head back to the dealership and cut off this video, man. Sure. 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 Yeah. Alright, y'all, we got a little bit of an opening. And I mean, if we go ahead, you know what? I'm gonna drop it in the sport. So we in sport now. I wanna see the difference of the pool. So the last. Last pull I did, we was in fourth gear, I believe, at like 60 or 70. Right now, we're fourth gear, about 60 miles an hour. Go. Oh, this one I think. Not to the floor. I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't really pull this hard. No. It don't pull this hard, which is expected. Which is right. expected, so at least it's not cap. You know what I mean? Not cap. Damn. It's like it's, it's, when it's like okay, like it's there, but it's not like the yeah, like, like, uh, but, yeah, yeah, I mean, like the track, yeah, the track definitely yeah, really, yeah. Like, no torque, no torque. It's just like damn, yeah, it's been crazy. I mean, don't don't get me twisted. Okay. I mean, this joint is still nasty, but it's just like that's worth it. Just a sport mode, brother. Man, man, man. Man, man. Man, man. Man, man. That's, that's man. like eco here. That's yeah, the same thing. Exactly. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, like I say, man, I'm in track the entire time. Way more pressure. This is definitely the business, though. You know, it's not that bad. It's not fully red, but it, you know, it's still, you know, traction control. It's all right, sport. I mean, I don't know, no suspension. I don't really feel that big of a difference, to be honest with you. I guess the steering wheel is supposed to get a lot tighter, a lot heavier. It's not that bad, um, like when it went into sport, I'm saying the difference from sport and track. So in track, like, I guess the steering is supposed to get a little bit tighter, it's supposed to be a little bit more responsive, but in sport, it's like, okay, we made it a devil move, like, I can jolt it a little bit if I want to, and the car's not really moving like that, but if I put it in track, it's a little bit different, so we're going to switch back to track right now. We're back in track now, as you guys can see, and it's a lot more... It's a lot more responsive with the steering. It's a lot more responsive. So yeah, man. Definitely um pulling it back up. We're back in back in, you know, the big good old USA. Yes sir. <laughs> yes sir. Pulling back up to the dealer. <laughs> we'll put this joint in neutral big tunnel real quick. Yeah, that joint just it's too quiet. Yeah. <laughs> that joint's still yeah, just Ain't too no quiet, exhaust. Man. Okay, one more pull and track. We're gonna leave it in drive for it. Peacock Nissan again, it's your boy BJ. I do this uh, over at 15300 North Freeway or 13500, whichever one you can look us up. Tom Peacock Nissan, you can find me on IG, Bountiful underscore sales, S E L L Z, or the real Bountiful. Uh, we got that 2018 uh, Move and 2018 Jeep SRT Grand Black on Black. Don't miss out, man. Come see me. All right, y'all, you dig what I'm saying? That's going to be it for this video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Make sure you turn on those post notifications. Come see my boy, BJ. Tom Peacock Nissan. Shout the address is on the screen JR. right here. Let's go. <laughs> Come get you an SRT, man. Make sure I go tap in with J.I. Reacts and stay tuned because the merch is coming, man. But without further ado, that's going to be it for this one. I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Peace.